I'm Randy Beck. I'm the CEO of uh, HST Automotive. We're a company based out of San Diego, California. We also have manufacturing facilities in Tijuana, Mexico. We have about 140,000 square feet of manufacturing facility in Tijuana, which augments our uh, facility up in the United States. We've been in business since 1989. Uh, we've uh, done uh, more than 40 million uh, graphite uh, products for sporting goods industries, for automotive industries, for industrial products. We also have an HST Aerospace Division that does advanced uh, thermal and acoustic uh, blankets for the aircraft industry. And uh, we make uh, full vehicles out of our facility in Tijuana that uh, use some of that technology. Uh, the company uh, started in the automotive industry about 12 years ago doing advanced research and development for a number of uh, large automotive companies. And most of those products were uh, based on reducing uh, the weight, and in a lot of cases trying to reduce them more than 50%. And that's where we uh, started using a lot of the advanced composites. Uh, some of the current cars that we're making are the uh, uh, rollers. Uh, and what a roller is is a, a, a car that has uh, no engine nor transmission. It sold up into the United States, uh, and in one situation, we're selling a uh, uh, vehicle for Carroll Shelby uh, that, that is fully produced in our factory down in Mexico, and it is shipped to the U.S. less the engine and transmission. Does that include the chassis as well as the carbon fiber body? Choose, it includes the chassis as well as a slew of options. Uh, we make uh, steering wheels down there. We make leather seats. We do all the wiring hardest work out of that facility. Uh, basically, from nuts to bolts, we complete the vehicle and ship it to the United States and other parts of the world. I'm going to let uh, Todd Barreto, our uh, president at HST Automotive, uh, uh, tell you about the two vehicles we have at the uh, Electric Vehicle Show. That'd be great. Todd? Thanks, Randy. My name's Todd Barreto. I'm the president of HST Automotive. Uh, I've been with the company for about 16 years now, and Randy's uh, the founder of the company. Uh, basically, we started off, as Randy mentioned, as a, a focus on advanced composite engineering. And over the years, as Randy mentioned, we've transitioned from recreational types of products to now automotive products, which is our core market. Uh, the two vehicles we have, we have here today, um, we have a Shelby Cobra, um, 427 Cobra from the original 1962 era that we build for Shelby automobiles to their original specs. Uh, this one happens to be a carbon fiber body, very lightweight, uh, that we've turned into an electric powered Cobra, the first one ever built. And uh, behind me here we have a Renali Mustang. Uh, we build gas versions of both vehicles in our, in our plant in Mexico, and this happens to be the first electric Renali that we've built. Okay. Now, just to clarify for me, is this the vehicle we're seeing behind is what carbon, what piece of the, the body work have you done, or is that just simply a production Ford Mustang that we're looking at? Uh, we start with a base donor car, Ford Mustang, and right. we can start with an 05, 06, 07. This happens to be an 08 model. Okay. Uh, we basically gut the entire powertrain. Um, we take the engine out, the exhaust, transmission, fuel lines, fuel tanks, anything associated with the fuel system. Right. Uh, we end up uh, replacing a lot of the body parts with our customized body solution out of carbon fiber. Oh, okay. So the whole front front end, the hood, the scoops, the rear deck lid, uh, the rear bumper, uh, we end up going through the car, repainting the entire car, and installing the electric drive system. Right. Okay. And uh, both of these vehicles have the identical electric drive system. The Mustang happens to be a little heavier car. Uh, it's running around 3,300 pounds uh, curb weight with our batteries, and the Cobra here is around 2,400 pounds. Okay. Obviously, the Cobra is a much smaller car. Right. It's a two-seater versus a four-seater. Right. Um, and so we're very proud of the vehicles. We, uh, the, the main emphasis behind coming out with these electric vehicles is up until now, we think electric vehicles have not been stylish, uh, not to mention that uh, you know we wanted to create a green product with uh, global warming and the cost of gas and all those factors went in behind it. But up until now, there's been very few vehicles that we think the public has accepted because of the styling. Um, we th These are obviously beautiful cars. You have a classic car and you have a modern car uh, that we're building that, as you, uh, I think, mentioned yourself, they're beautiful cars. Right. People would want to be seen in them, not to mention drive them. Now, the thing, the thing is with these types of cars, or the people that normally buy these cars are interested in 
I'd say three things. They're interested in performance, which generally translates into, you know, lots of horsepower, muscle. They're going to get that with the electric, obviously. A lot of this is excitement at the drag tra drag strip and racing is noise. Well, you're not going to get noise unless you artificially can, you know, create it. And of course, then the look and appeal of the vehicle, which obviously you have. So you got you got two of the three. Right. How are you going to solve and how are you going to deal with the uh, that that third element where people just want noise and smoke? Well, that's why we have the gasoline powered versions. The uh, the electric cars are silent, but. Uh, there are a lot of people that have not bought these vehicles because they are loud and because they burn a lot of fuel. And so now they have an option of somebody that's always wanted one of these cars and didn't want to buy it for uh, you know the reasons I just mentioned. So now they have an option. And it is silent. Uh, we think it's uh, pretty unique coming down the road and nobody hears you and then all of a sudden the car appears. But um, So it's not for everybody, but uh, it is an option that people, a lot of people want a green vehicle and uh, we now can provide them a green vehicle that's beautiful, uh, lots of power, lots of torque. Uh, the driving characteristics are phenomenal. These are high performance cars. I, I don't think I mentioned on the Renali and both on the Cobra, the suspension, racing brakes, we've changed. Um, so they drive fantastically. And uh, so what's the lead time on one of these? I, I have a listener or a viewer out here that wants to uh, say, boy, I, I want that Cobra how long before they put an order could they anticipate getting one? And what are sort of the financial arrangements for that? The, uh, the Cobras are running about two to three months once your order is placed. The uh, Renali Mustang is going to be about a month behind that. We are going to start delivering the Renali Mustangs in April. The Cobras are uh, available now. Okay. And so we've received a number of orders, so it's just a matter of what order sequence you would get your order placed in. All the money up front first or a deposit? The, uh, we, we work on a deposit system. Okay. Um, in the case of the Cobra, uh, it's a separate transaction. So the, the car, the roller, as Randy mentioned, would be purchased from our company. Right. And then the electric drive system would be put in by uh, SSI Racing right. at this point. Okay. Um, on the Mustang, uh, we would be provided a donor car by the customer. And then we would give them back a turnkey car, like okay. what you see here, painted and, and done. And SSI does the install on the electric as well? That as well, then? Just, on Just on the Cobra. Uh, yeah, and the Mustang, that's a... That's a so, so what components then are you using? you have sort of a standardized uh, componentry system for these vehicles, suppliers? We do. We, uh, we, we really researched the market and we uh, basically chose existing motor technology that's very proven. Uh, it's a DC motor uh, versus a liquid-cooled um, AC propulsion type motor. Uh, it's been proven. It's been around for, for a long, long time. Right. Um, so we went with a real proven motor design. And the batteries, I think, as Ed and uh, Michael mentioned, are state-of-the-art lithium ion, iron phosphate. So they're very safe. There's no thermal runaway. Uh, so we went with a, uh, a state-of-the-art battery and a proven motor design okay. with a proven vehicle platform. So what kind of reaction are you getting from people having seen these cars at the show now? Apart from the fact that Booth seems to be always swapped with people. Yeah. Uh, it's been phenomenal. Uh, we did no pre-press on our vehicles that we brought here um, intentionally, and we wanted to gauge the market, and we think this is the right platform to launch it, um, this show. Now you've sold how many uh, pre-sold, how many of the Cobras? Uh, we've sold eight so far eight. at this show. Okay. And we have a long list of people interested in the Renali, 